for when you know anytime uh, staking rewards come out anytime you know let's say uh for the private sale and people get their allocations it's just tremendous sell pressure and whether people understand that or not you know i'm not really sure but do you see that same kind of thing in the stock world where as soon as you get your dividends people are just like give me that cash yeah so that's that's a great great question um a lot of times they have to post what they call the ex-dividend date which means uh if you hold the if you hold the security on this date we're gonna basically take a snapshot and those um accounts will be given a set number of dividends for as many shares as they hold uh and you will see some uh buy and sell pressure on that date uh mm. that goes over particularly with with um stocks that have high volatility with respect to their options trading because uh, I, as a, I, as an investor, can purchase an option, uh, and if I, if I own a particular set of shares, um, I might get access to a dividend and still be selling out an option, where somebody might have the ability to call that option or, 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 or basically take action on that option before or after the dividends actually take place. So you do see that pretty often, but um, dividends are not so juicy that you're going to see it from a lot of people you know if if um you know i i have a there's a stock called iipr which is uh, innovative industrial properties um that is an interesting it's basically a reit uh, a real estate investment trust that pays a really strong dividend but the stock is like a hundred dollars almost a hundred dollars a share so you're gonna have to have a lot of volume to move it in a certain direction and because dividend shares typically trade at lower volumes there's not a whole lot of volatility that goes in that respect interesting